Yeah, I've got a large quantity of monarch butterfly caterpillars. I rescued these yesterday from a park. Um, these caterpillars are on the pond from attack from uh, paper wasps and the likes. And they're absolutely beautiful. They're beautiful units. And, uh, these turn into these magic orange butterflies eventually. And I've got a few other ones in here. And I'm going to put them in because I've got plants outside the garden. Um, I've got a safe enclosure, netted area. So the caterpillars, they go inside here till they become butterflies and then I'll release them. Hard to see here at the top, but I'm going to take the netting off and there's a butterfly next to chrysalis and then a uh, cat. Okay, here we get a better situation. A butterfly, caterpillar, chrysalis, another caterpillar there in a J. Chrysalis there, a caterpillar there, chrysalis, and we've got another chrysalis here. Here's a J, so that is just when they go to the conversion stage, they adopt themselves. They're still alive. Yeah, so they go eventually in the chrysalis. Quite a large quantity of uh, devices on this plant here, they've been sweating that. And there's some smaller ones, Insta 2s. Insta 3s, a couple of 5s, Insta 5s, so they're going Insta stages, that's the amount of time they shed the skin, they become a bigger Insta, so I'm going to put the fresh food in here and then they'll be all happy as. The monarchs are two beauties, just open your wings, let's have a look, this looks like a girl, I think, yeah, it looks like a girl this one, absolutely beautiful, so they're drying up the wings, look at the colour. And then uh, later on the day, yeah, it's a girl one. And then I'll let this one go, and then uh, she can go in the garden, lay eggs. Stunning insects these. And they're under threat by the paper wasps. I got most butterflies, or oh, sorry, caterpillars into the enclosure and I'm gonna close it back up and let them convert themselves. Camera nearly runs out of path. Here we got a nice big Insta5 munching away. Happy as in my safe enclosure for these awesome devices. The traction controllers fantastic on the units. Seven sets of tires they got. Perfect control of the device. And you may even be able to see the little white eyes, they're almost next to the mouth. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got another one systematically eating. They all seem to make a C curve, that's just the way the head is designed. They're both in star five, so they'll be getting to the stage that they're gonna J hook themselves and uh, become uh, the current liquefaction to become a uh, butterfly. Or chrysalis stage first, let's say that way. It's a nice cluster here, some are sleeping, some are converting themselves. The little felt pads. Little Insta 2 baby here. There we've got Insta 3. A very happy muncher here. It's pretty black that one. We've got a lot of black instead of yellow. Probably close to molting stage, I would say. It's oscillating. Just a trip to the park today and it yields a lot of activity here. Look at these devices. I collected about probably 80 or so. Looks so good. They're beautiful the units, these monarch caterpillars. And I've got a dedicated area where I'm gonna put them in. There's lots of fresh food so they can uh, 
eat lots and get bigger and eventually become a uh, butterfly. They are so cool these things. They're fighting too sometimes. The traction motors on the units are just amazing. I got a good looking cluster of uh, chrysalises. Look at this, got heaps there. Uh, in my netted area, a couple of J's. Heaps more chrysalises, they're doing quite well. And at the bottom here, we've still got heaps of uh, monarch caterpillar device units here. They need to eat a bit more and keep munching, and uh, eventually they'll become a butterfly. Attach themselves, and uh, yeah, look at this. These units are just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous units. The traction device is amazing. Seven sets of tires and then a uh, suction pad at the bottom. Beautiful. That's been on the hunt and I found a whole lot of more caterpillars. Probably another hundred I would say. And they have a chance to become a popper butterfly which is quite nice. Oh that's so beautiful these things. Look at these devices, look at the power. They are just gorgeous. Absolutely amazing units. So I spent the whole morning sorting out all these caterpillars, put new milkweed uh, cuttings in here and uh, clean up all the poos. Getting to pretty messy. And I've also been cutting open the seed pods because they like those as well. But they, modern nature designed them, they make it a bit harder for them to get access to. So I don't know how many caterpillars are here, but uh, quite a few hundred I would say. And uh, I do my best to help the species to survive because there is a massive shortage of uh, monarch butterflies at the moment and uh, caterpillars they are being attacked by wasps especially paper wasps it's a few different versions and they um, attack living prey so when they see a moving caterpillar they'll eat the caterpillars or kill them and take the caterpillar body to the nest they are also under attack from praying mantises um, I don't kill praying mantises, I just relocate it to another plant. But yeah, these are just gorgeous insects or caterpillars or whoops, whatever you want to call them. In various uh, stages munching away and um, the result will hopefully be logged uh, when these convert into butterflies on a uh, future video. That's also one of the reasons I've been that, not that active on YouTube. Um, I spend a lot of time at the moment uh, raising these caterpillars, which I rescue from various locations. Is if that doesn't get done, uh, maybe one out of twenty may survive, and the rest is being eaten either by birds or by uh, um, the other things. Uh, how do you call them? Wasps, especially. In these containers I keep nursery, usually smaller ones, but also overflow, so I put a lot of these seed pods in here which I cut in half. Seed pods and excess leaves and they seem to like that, so... Uh, the seed pods themselves are quite hairy, <coughs> so they're a lot harder for them to access. Probably the way Mother Nature designed it, so I cut those in half. So I've got these in here, that's the overflow. And Growing some new swarm plant cuttings here, some seedlings, shredded plants, so yeah, it keeps you busy quite a bit. As you can see, I've got quite a few chrysalises uh, at the moment. They uh, they've been formed over the last couple of days, and uh, they take about 10 days to convert. So they go into the J when the caterpillar is ready uh, for conversion, and that takes about 24 to 48 hours. Then it goes into a green chrysalis with golden crystals on the side, which takes about 10 to 12 days, depends how warm it is. 
and then it will change into a beautiful butterfly and I'll see if I can capture an enclosure there will are videos on the net and on Facebook um, there is the enclosures it takes like five to ten minutes when they open up it's just a matter of being at the right time at the right place we've got a baby paying mantis on a uh, tropical swamp plant just looking at me, it's not doing anything. Hopefully it's gonna eat his aphids. I'd like to get rid of Caterpillar that's on the tropical version. Um, I minimize in shredding this plant because I'm looking for seed pots on this and it hasn't set any flowers yet at this stage. So. Sorry, I mean set seed pots, so yeah. Love the oscillations they do sometimes. Come on, do a few more. They're showing a little west beard at the moment. Munch, munch, upside down. Amazing. I just want to see it's curled up and uh, see how it's going to activate the device. There we go. They are just amazing units. The front part is where the motor is, where the eating machine is. Look at me, look at me. Come here. Look at me, look at me. Put it on the plant here. Pretty quick. The traction drive is quite unique on the units. Eating the stems as well sometimes. The so regular caterpillar has six eyes or twelve, I don't know. Very hard to see, they are almost by the mouth end. Tiny little eyes on the device. Pretty good suction caps these. Determined to lay more eggs. Look at that. So cool. This is so cool. Spot all the egg onto there. Just set some lemon tree, have a little rest. 
for the 6th January and the yields is even better. Look at these clusters of J's and chrysalises here. It's going to be a lot of release in the next uh, week, 10 days, something like that. Overall shot again over the replenished supply of uh, milkweed slash swarm plant. That's about a pile of poos over a 24 hour period from say 5 to 600 caterpillars. It's quite a lot. These devices, they're stripey devices, they are different than a wasp, but they are fantastic units. And they need to be helped to keep the monarch species uh, going forward. More people should plant uh, swamp plants in the gardens uh, just to help the species. Look at the device, it's munching uh, remains of a flower. Traction pads are just simply stunning on these units.